services, search engine optimization is the key to their success. SEO is what makes website pages visible and relevant to both search engines and internet users. Both Google recent, well, but I should say, Google recently rolled out an update aimed at decreasing the search engine rankings of websites that violate its webmaster guidelines. Now, for more on the impact of the move, I'm joined by Jim Stewart, the managing director at Stew Art Media. Jim, look, thanks very much for your time this evening. Uh, I'm a bit of a layman when it comes to when it comes to a, a lot of this. What's happening? First, let's start. What, what has happened? What's Google done? The, the thing that made Google powerful as a search engine is that it looked at other web pages that were linking to your web pages and it looked at and said they were votes, they were citations, if you like. So, what happened was is that then a whole scam or, or gaming of that uh, algorithm came up by people going out and buying backlinks on other websites to get their website ranked higher. And this has been going on for years, mm. and lots of businesses do it. But what Google's done is they've done an update to their algorithm so that they can detect these sorts of things. And all of a sudden, all these businesses may have been ranking number one. They're now nowhere to be found since this update. How important, and we were talking about this off air, how mm. important is it to be ranked in a, in a, in a high position? Oh, it, for some categories, it's all that there is. I mean, the thing about the internet is that it allows any player to get online and, and, and start getting mm. competing with the big brands. Now, if you're number one one day and you're not there the next, then your traffic is going to drop off a cliff and subsequently sales will as well. So, you know, for, for most businesses that we see, uh, the Google traffic is worth about 70 to 80 percent of their entire traffic. So how is this, I mean, this is going to seriously impact a lot of, a lot of business, I would have thought. I mean, how many businesses, you know, are affected? Oh, I, I would say the majority of businesses uh, it depends on the category. Some mm. categories go harder than others. If the big brands, they may have got hit a little bit, but they may have only got hit in some categories. So if you're selling ceiling fans, but you're only doing a backlinking scammy technique for, say, uh, a certain type of fan, then that's one that's going to drop, not the rest of the phrases that you're already ranking for. Uh, is it a good? Do you think it's a good move? The idea of, of cracking down on on scamming. I mean, it's got to be well. It's a pretty positive. much what it is. I mean, you, you know, it's like as a user, do you want the results that are relevant? And if someone's buying votes, essentially, do you want to see them come up as number one, or do mm. you want something that that Google thinks is is more relevant to what you do? And that's all Google's ever trying to do. Um, Unfortunately, a lot of businesses probably didn't even know that links were being bought on their behalf by companies that they were employing to do so. So all of a sudden they've got traffic and sales one day and then the next, it's all just dropped off a cliff and they don't know why. And is it something that is going to be continuously focused on, do you think? I mean, oh, are, there, the are there going to be companies out there finding other ways to sort of happening. get around it? Is that right? It's already happening. You know, you're reading things already where they're coming up with new techniques or... Uh, but the, the underlying thing should be, you should be creating a site that's good for your users. If you're a business, you should actually be creating content all the time for mm. your site to get people interested. And if you want to go and get backlinks, uh, you do what Google says, and you go and get backlinks that where, where people, where your customers are for traffic. So engage with the local community, engage with local sporting groups if you're a local business, in, engage with with charities and those sorts of things and get backlinks from them. Or I imagine though from the uh, business's perspective that takes a lot longer than, uh, than what they have previously been, been able to do and, and more cost effective potential, potentially. Definitely. Definitely. And the, the thing that Google's always trying to do though is trying to make or reward pages that have great content for users on them. Mm. So if you're continually, up continually updating your pages, you've got great content, users like it, it's been shared around the web, Google is always going to reward those. Does it take more effort? Well, yes, it, it does than, say, just going out and buying backlinks. But if you try to scam Google, Google <laughs> is always going to slap you hard when it works it out. On Google, I've, I've got to ask, why Penguin 2.0 in terms of the, the name of this? Uh, I mean, where did they get that from? Uh, I don't know. The last one was Panda. <laughs> um, we've had all sorts of names and they just roll them out. We don't know. It's, it's cold and it's mean. That's all I know. In terms of businesses focused on, on search engine optimization, then, is, does it mean the crackdown on, on the backlinks, does that mean there, is, there are other avenues of, of that optimization that are likely to see more business? I mean, there, there are other ways to drive track of the traffic than simply Well, yeah, backlinks? I mean, like there's, whilst there's been a lot of losers with this last update, there's been a lot of winners as well. I mean, we've seen our clients um, 
get a lot more traffic because of this, because all the ones above them were doing this technique. Boosted. Yeah, mm. so they've, they've come up. So they're, they're the winners. Um, so the technique should be about creating a, a website that works well. It should be fast. It should not have any problems with it. Like it shouldn't have duplicate pages and those sorts of things. And it should be good for the users. And y you're going to win every time. How big is the discrepancy then between those that used to rank one, two, and three to those now since this crackdown at ranked one, two, and three? Like, is it quite stark? Yeah, well, we've seen some big brands actually in some categories, in gift categories, those sorts of things. They've just disappeared from the first 20 results. And, you know, we have a saying in the SEO industry which is, you know, page two of results is the best place to hide a dead body because no one looks there. Goodness, well. Uh, an interesting space to say the least. Jim Stewart, great to talk. Thanks very much. Thanks, James. That is it. I'm afraid.